Hello, I'm Eric Berg. I'm a professor of meat science in the Department of Animal Science here on the main campus in Fargo. If you've ever attended an NDSU barbecue boot camp outreach workshop, you've heard me talk about how meat science is so much more than that barbecue pork butt that you have on your smoker. In fact, every swine production practice from conception to consumption will have an impact on the size, the taste, and the toughness of that cut of meat. Here are a few examples of some of the meat science research that we do out of our lab. We worked with the Carrington Research and Extension Center on identifying ways to reduce the stress of feedlot cattle through facility design and the identification of cattle that are less genetically prone to be temperamental. We have collaborated with Dr. Rex Soon in biosystems engineering using thermal imaging technology to identify illness in feedlot cattle as well as to track the stress of animals through their working system using high resolution imaging so we can see their pupil dilation. Because you see calmer cattle more efficiently convert feed to muscle. They put on more fat as marbling so that ribeye tastes better. And they'll, and they'll have less tense muscles that result in more tender meat. In more recent years, my lab has shifted its focus to study how food and food combinations impact the development or even prevention of obesity and obesity-related disease. More specifically, we focused on how eating nutrient-dense meat can lower an individual's risk for developing prediabetes or insulin resistance. To accomplish this, we work with pigs to serve as a model for humans. So pigs are omnivores just like us, and the food they consume impacts the release and function of insulin the same as it does in us. We found that by substituting beef for sugar in a diet that was based on what the average American eats, we can increase muscle growth, decrease external fat deposition, and improve the concentration of insulin receptors in muscle. If you'd like to know more about our research, you can look at a TEDx talk that I did a few years ago. It's titled, You Eat Like a Pig. Thanks for your time today. Hello, my name is Chennai Shimshik. I am a professor and meat quality specialist in the plant sciences department at NDSU. Hard red spring wheat from North Dakota is globally recognized as the best quality spring wheat in the world. It has high protein content and superior baking and gluten quality. And my job is to highlight why North Dakota wheat has the unique quality aspects so that North Dakota growers market their wheat to overseas customers. Each year, wheat quality laboratories at NDSU receive hundreds of samples from North Dakota and surrounding states to be analyzed for quality. Then, we publish the quality information in, in crop quality reports and share it with the world. Because more than 50% of states' hard red spring wheat is exported, much of my work involves international buyers. I meet with the trade teams to provide technical information about North Dakota wheat's chemical makeup so that buyers will understand how to use the wheat to fit their needs. Each country's quality requirements are different. I often travel overseas to talk about North Dakota wheat and provide technical support. Besides working with growers, I also work with NDSU wheat breeding programs to develop future varieties for farmers. Because of the large export market, our work has a significant impact on North Dakota's economy. I am passionate about promoting North Dakota wheat, so if I hear a baker from far, far away country talking about North Dakota wheat quality being number one in the world, that makes me happy and proud. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Julie Garden Robinson, and I'm a food and nutrition specialist for NDSU Extension located on campus. Each of us makes daily decisions about how to fill our plates. We also like to know where our food comes from. Along with being vital parts of the economy, North Dakota plant and animal-based products provide robust nutrition for our state, region, nation, and often the world. Regardless of our age, we all need nutritious food to maintain our health and well-being. People also expect safe food. 
both food safety and labeling recommendations and regulations evolve with research. We at NDSU Extension educate growers, small businesses, and consumers of all ages to help maintain food safety and also make healthful food choices. We work with entrepreneurs who add value to North Dakota products. Improving health behaviors through research and outreach can increase the quality of life and save millions of dollars in collective healthcare costs for North Dakotans throughout their lifetimes. <music>